Hey guys, it's John Michael Mark with Tactical JK, and today we're going to be talking about this soft top. As you can see, it looks really nice right now, but that wasn't always the case. A few days ago, it was covered in dried mud, dust, and a whole lot of pollen, but it's looking so good right now because, guess what? I cleaned it. And as well as cleaning it, I applied a special product to it that brings back some of the black that gets lost due to fading and protects the soft top from future fading. In this video, we'll be talking about the supplies I used, the process I used to clean the soft top, and the product I used to protect the soft top from future fading and bring back some of the black. It should be a pretty good video, so let's get started. Let's kick off this video by talking about some of the supplies we're gonna need. We're gonna need towels, water, rags, just your standard car washing supplies and then a few special ones, which the first supply isn't really special, but a sponge. Now I called this special because I actually have a microfiber sponge, which is just a little bit nicer than a normal sponge, but either one will do. We will use this sponge to clean off the soft top windows, which are very susceptible to scratches, so it's important to have a nice clean sponge, whichever you choose. Another good thing to have is a microfiber towel or a very soft towel to dry off those soft top windows. Standard towels are just a little bit too rough and they can leave small little scratches all over your windows. Next up is just a nice stiff bristled brush. The majority of time that you spend cleaning your soft top is just scrubbing it down with this brush, so make sure you've got a pretty good one. And finally, we have our three best top soft top cleaning products. First up is the cleaner, which is basically just soap for your soft top. It helps get all that muck and grime out of there without discoloring your soft top, which standard soaps have a reputation of doing. Next up is the Best Top Protectant. This is the product that darkens your soft top and protects it from future fading. And finally, we have the Best Top Window Cleaner, which I actually won't be using. Last time I used this product, I was unlucky and it left my windows nasty and hazy for like two months. I'm sure I made a mistake applying this product or something, but honestly, the windows look pretty good without it, so I always just skip. Now that we got that out of the way, we can actually start cleaning the soft top. The first step I take is always just rinse it off and then I go after it with the brush. I like to start with the top of the Jeep and then kind of work my way down to the back panels of the soft top. Having the stock side rails on your Jeep actually comes in pretty handy here because it allows you to climb up on them and reach the far corners of the roof. This process gets rid of all the surface debris like that pollen and that dust and gets rid of a lot of mud. You want to make sure that you hit every part of the soft top that you possibly can because getting all that nasty stuff out of the way means that our soap can do its job later. After I finish scrubbing down all the fabric of the soft top, I like to hit the windows real quick with the sponge. Dried up mud can be pretty tricky to get off the soft top window and will probably require a lot of pressure. This is why we needed a nice sponge or a nice microfiber cloth so that we don't run any risk of scratching up our windows. Then once you're finished, just go ahead and rinse the soft top off and you're good to go for the next step. If your soft top looks okay, you can go ahead and skip straight to applying the protectant. But for me, I'm gonna go ahead and apply the soft top cleaner and then scrub it down again. Applying the cleaner is pretty simple. All you have to do is dampen a rag. If you decide to do it on the front of your Jeep to look cool, you might wanna wash that off. And then wipe down all the fabric of the Jeep with that rag, being careful to avoid the soft top windows. Now just let the cleaner sit for a few minutes and then break out your brush and repeat the whole scrubbing process again. I like to hit my windows one more time once I'm done scrubbing and then rinse off all the top again and dry my windows with my soft towel or microfiber cloth. Next up is applying the best top protectant, but that requires the soft top fabric to be completely dry, so I had to leave the Jeep out to dry a bit. To use the protectant, just go ahead and dampen the rag with it and then wipe it all over the soft top. Since the soft top is dry, the protectant doesn't apply near as well and it kind of appears splotchy, but just make sure you get a nice even coverage over the Jeep. Even if it looks splotchy, as long as you've covered everything with the protectant, it'll end up looking good. And once you're done applying the initial layer of the protectant, go ahead and wipe away any excess you may have on the Jeep and you're done.
And that's it, your soft top is now cleaned, darkened, and protected. Best Top recommends applying their protectant about once a month to prevent future fading. I'll link all the products I use in this video down below so you can look at getting some for yourself. I'm not sponsored or anything, but the Best Top products work pretty good. Be sure to check out Tactical JK on Instagram and subscribe on YouTube like we already said, and I'll catch you next time.